Could a cosmetic procedure save your life one day? For years, researchers have believed that stem cell therapies may have the potential to treat diseases and injuries. That hope for the future is why some now are harvesting stem cells from their fat during liposuction. And Stephanie Whitfield is joining us now to tell us how this procedure could work. Yeah, it takes a minute to wrap your head around this, but the idea is if you're getting liposuction anyway, why not save that fat instead of throwing it away? As you know, we're going to do lipo of the hips, the thighs, the buttocks, and the tummy. Most people opt to get liposuction to shed a few pounds, but Jessica Archer wants more. I would love to be that 78-year-old woman lifting heavy things in the gym. The yoga and fitness instructor hopes lipo will help get her there. Well, not the liposuction, but the fat she's getting rid of. So rather than discarding the liposuction aspirate, we can now harvest it, save it, send it to Forever Labs for years and years of usage in the future. Dr. Franklin Rose invited us into the operating room to show that removed fat is a great source of stem cells. Researchers all over the world are studying whether stem cells from fat or adipose stem cells can be used for regenerative medicine to treat everything from arthritis to Alzheimer's. Very few clinical trials have demonstrated that those cells can do uh, something useful. Uh, it's not to say that they can't, it's just that uh, very few clinical trials have been efficacy trials. Dr. Mikhail Kolonin studies fat tissue. He says there are no FDA-approved therapies using adipose stem cells now. Plus, labs typically charge an annual fee to bank them. But if you have the financial means... I think that it's worth for patients to consider harvesting their cells. Um, because there is a lot of potential in using them. He says stem cells deteriorate with age, so the younger you can remove and bank them, the better. If not for treatment, for research in labs like this. But for Archer... Think about that. 20 years from now, our world will look completely different. Look at how different it looks from 20 years ago now. The 37-year-old sees her stem cells as an insurance policy, one she hopes she'll never have to use. So back in 2011, then Governor Rick Perry actually made headlines because he had his fat removed and the stem cells injected into his back to treat chronic back pain. And he took a lot of heat for that because it was so experimental. Mm -hmm. And I will reiterate, the FDA has not approved any fat stem cell therapies even now. But he tried it and others are trying it. He tried it. Hoping. Okay, Stephanie, thanks. Rake up.